Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing uh, averages topic. Uh, let's see the first question in this session. See here, the average of six numbers is 30. The average of six numbers is 30. Therefore, sum of six numbers, sum of six numbers, which is equal to average into number of uh, values, that is six, uh, 30 into six, 180. Sum of six numbers is equal to 180. If the average of first four is 25, here the sentence is given as average of first four is given. Therefore, sum of uh, first four numbers, sum of first four numbers is equal to average into number of values, that is 4. 25 into 4, which is equal to 100. 25 into 4, which is equal to 100. And that of last three is given as 35. Last 3 is given as 35. Therefore, sum of last 3 numbers, sum of last 3 numbers, which is equal to, average is given as 35, 35 into 3, which is equal to 105, which is equal to 105. Here, if you observe carefully, total we are having 6 numbers. Total we are having how many numbers? 6 numbers. First 4 numbers, 1, 2, 4. Last three numbers, four, five, six. These are the last three numbers. If you observe carefully, in first four and the last three, one value is common. That is fourth value, fourth number. Here, fourth number is common. Therefore, if we add these two values, we will get total seven numbers. We will get total seven numbers. Sum of first four and sum of last three, total seven numbers. If you subtract six numbers sum from the total seven numbers sum, then you will get the value of a fourth number. Fourth number is equal to, fourth number is equal to sum of first four, that is 100, plus sum of last three, that is 105, minus sum of a, 6 numbers which is equal to 180 that is equal to 100 plus 105 205 minus 180 which is equal to 25 here the value of fourth number is 25 that is the required answer for this question 25 let's move on to the next question see here the average score of boys in an examination of a school is 71 and that of girls is 73. Here, average score of boys and average score of girls, which is given as 71 and 73. And the average score of school in that examination is 71.8. Find the ratio of number of boys and number of girls that appeared in the examination. Guys, uh, this problem can be solved uh, by two methods. One is you can go with a general procedure by using averages. I will tell you how to approach the process and I will recommend you guys to go for shortcut method that is by using allegation concept. Here, first I will tell you the process. Here the process is, let us consider number of boys B. So, average score of boys is equal to 71. Therefore, sum of boys is equal to 71 into B. Why? Because uh, average is equal to what? Sum of observations into number of uh, observations. Average is given as 71 and number of boys uh, 7 uh, B. And that of girls uh, 73. Therefore, sum, this is sum of boys. Sum of boys which is equal to 71 B and uh, sum of girls, sum of girls, which is equal to, let us consider number of girls are G, average is given as 73, 73 G. And uh, overall, all together, the total strength is B plus G, boys plus girls together. Therefore, sum of entire school, sum of entire school, which is equal to number of students into average value 71.8. Average value 71.8. Here, if you observe carefully, here 
sum of entire school which is nothing but sum of all the boys plus sum of all the girls is equal to 71.8 into b plus 71.8 into g if you solve this equation you will get uh, the ratio of b and g easily right but this is a general procedure method i will go with the shortcut method i will go with the shortcut method that you will get the answer in a sh uh, uh, short span so let us take boys and girls here the boys average 71 girls average 73 and the average is average of entire class entire school is 71.8 according to allegation rule if you apply the allegation concept uh, for this problem you will get the answer in a short span here the difference between these two values you need to write here here the difference between these two 71.8 and 71 the difference is 0 0.8 here the difference between these two, 73 and 71.8 which is equal to 1.2. Now you can take the ratio. B is to G, number of boys is to number of girls which is equal to 1.2 is to 0 0.8. Now you can cancel with the 4 table, 4 3 sir and 4 2 sir. Therefore the ratio of boys and girls which is equal to 3 is to 2. This is a very very simple uh, as comparing with uh, this general procedure, right? Just go with the shortcut method, which is nothing but uh, allegation rule. Allegation rule. We have a separate uh, topic uh, for this uh, model, allegation and mixtures. Uh, so you can go, you can apply for allegation rule for this problem, right? Let's move on to the next question. See here. The average marks obtained by 120 students, 120 students or 120 candidates was 35. If the average marks of past candidates was uh, 39 and that of failed candidates uh, 15, what is the number of uh, candidates who passed the exam? Here, uh, first I will tell you the process. I'll just explain how to go with the process. After that, I will explain the shortcut method. Let us consider that the number of past candidates are X number of past candidates are x automatically failed candidates automatically failed candidates uh, 120 minus x why because the reason is total number of candidates 120 out of that x members passed and remaining 120 minus x members uh, failed here average of past candidates is given as uh, 39 therefore sum of past candidates 39 into x and uh, sum of failed candidates average into number of persons that is 15 into 120 minus x. The sum of pass and fail is equal to total which is nothing but 120 into 35. This is the process of doing the calculation. If you solve this equation you will get the value of uh, x something value. This is a uh, general procedure method by using average concept but i will not recommend you people to go with this approach it is better to approach of a shortcut method that is a allegation rule as like previous problem see here as we are talking about pass and fail candidates here pass candidates marks 39 and that of fail candidates marks 15 and the overall average of 120 students 120 candidates was 35. Substitute that value here. Now you can do the allegation rule for this one. Here the difference between these two. Here it is uh, 20. And the difference between these two. 39 and 35 difference is uh, 4. Now you can apply the allegation rule. The ratio is. Uh, here you can cancel with 4 table. 4 5 sir. 4 1 sir. The required ratio of pass and fail candidates. Pass and fail candidates, the ratio 5 is to 1. Total, how many parts are there? Pass and fail all together. 6 parts. 5 plus 1, 6 parts. 6 parts is equal to, all together will be having 120 members. 6 parts is equal to 120, then each part is equal to 20 candidates. 
here past uh, failed candidates one part it means 20 members past candidates five parts it means uh, 5 into 20 100 members 100 members are passed and the remaining 20 members are failed here the question what he is asking is find the number of candidates who passed the examination who passed the examination that is uh, 100 members 100 members is a required answer for this question guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching